feeling. Okay. Because I know times are hard. I'm right there with you. I mean, I've been down, you know, on the real, keeping it real. Because <laughs> I, I made some cookies from scratch, but you're doing things you didn't used to do. You know, you might be you looking for a soup bone this winter. <laughs> just make that soup. You know what I'm talking about. So I made them from scratch, flour, you know, the whole thing. None of that cut it. You know, <laughs> Times are hard and all that stuff. I said, but I have to get my teeth clean. So I have an appointment next week. My mother said, Can't you clean your own teeth? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Damn, times are hard, but I've been that hard. You don't know, talk about metal this place or what? She said, Well, I've been adventurous for so long. I don't think she know, you know. <laughs> so anyway. Jewish, just it doesn't matter. You know, I'm very, I have an eclectic, you know, diverse of that type. Just so you can picture us, kind of. I'm black. She's, you know, I'm African American. She's Jewish. It doesn't matter. My friend Paula and I giggled like schoolgirls as we huddled over little plates of dim sum goodies. We were celebrating my 49th birthday in a large, sunny, crowded restaurant in Oakland's Chinatown. Women in white uniforms pushed metal carts topped with steaming morsels through the narrow aisles. During our conversation thus far, Paula had casually thrown in an unfamiliar expression, girl kissing. You know, I always prided myself on being the hipper of the two of us. <laughs> Now I felt a little awkward <laughs> because after nearly three decades, our friendship had suddenly taken a surprising <laughs> turn. <laughs> Paula appeared to be the one on the cutting edge, <laughs> despite her gray suburban haircut. And contra while I seemed out of the loop, contrary to my burgundy-tinted hair. I cringed at the thought that I was no longer way past cool, now that I was intimately acquainted with hot flashes and night sweats. Couldn't I be both menopausal and up on the downstroke? <laughs> so, uh, tell me about this Girl kissing, I asked casually. Okay, you know, I heard about it from my daughter. Paula confided as a waitress parked her cart alongside our table and I searched for something green. Their girl kissing at Berkeley High, I whispered. I, I don't know how widespread it is. <laughs> and I don't know if they're actually doing it in the school. Paula smiled politely at the waitress, as the waitress served us little bowls of spinach. So, is it just girls kissing each other? I asked as the cart rolled away. Yeah, and they call it girl kissing. <laughs> Has Hannah done it? Paula shook her head. Of course, she probably wouldn't tell you. I don't really think Hannah's into it. I sip my tea. Does Hannah have a boyfriend yet? She was just, you know, telling me that some girls are doing it, not her. <laughs> so she doesn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> well, you know, at least you don't have to worry about her getting pregnant or catching something like some mothers of 16-year-olds have to do. Look, Hannah's just focused on her studies and theater. And that's just fine with me, Paula insisted between tight lips. Look, she got a part in the vagina monologues. <laughs> the vagina monologues. <laughs> Berkeley High is really progressive. <laughs> Feminism is alive and well there. 
think girl, that girl kissing is connected to feminism, Paula continued. And I suspect that some of them are just doing it to impress their boyfriends or because they think it's cool or tight or rad or whatever they, the hell they say these days. Paula sipped her tea. Regardless, you know, it's not like Hannah couldn't confide in me, she continued. <laughs> I girl kissed and more before I got married. Yeah, but Hannah doesn't really know about your checkered past. <laughs> no, but she knows that I was a feminist and that I accept Auntie Liz and Auntie Kate's relationship, Paula pointed out. My kids have always had friends or classmates with two moms or gay dads. Come on, they've lived their whole lives in Berkeley. <laughs> I hear you when I nod. You know, there's really nothing new under the sun. I sit my tea. I kissed a blonde hippie chick a few times back when I was in college. <laughs> no, but we didn't call it girl kissing. I sighed. I didn't call it anything, except nobody's business on the camera. Had a really nice weed connection. <laughs> All of us changed smiles. Well, the hippie chick's name was Mariah. She came to my door drawn to the sounds of Marvin Gaye <laughs> coming from inside my dorm room. And Mariah introduced herself and offered me a joint, and we became buds. <laughs> One time after we smoked a joint, Mariah leaned over and started kissing me. I didn't fight her all off her, I didn't fight off her soft lips or her pot flavored tongue. <laughs> Went with the flow. <laughs> Mariah and I weren't in love. We were just two cute 70s chicks who got down. <laughs> but not all the way. <laughs> now, I remember sitting at the black table in my dorm's dining room with the sisters and brothers talking black, even though I just kissed white. <laughs> that it was a girl, but that was a whole nother time. Uh, black folks used to criticize militants for talking black and sleeping white. I hadn't slept white yet. <laughs> I had only kissed white. And I wasn't exactly a militant, but I wore an afro and I was an active member of the Black Student Union. So I felt conflicted. <laughs> I sighed and looked at Paula now. You know, your daughter would have to become a Republican in order to rebel, I chuckled. <laughs> I bit into a sesame seed covered ball filled with sweet paste. Or a fashion model, Paula Brown. <laughs> Hannah fusses about her appearance all the time. Paula shook her head. You know, I used to dress like a hippie, and I ended up with a girly girl, Paula lamented. How did that happen? I shrugged. It just bees that way sometimes. <laughs> huh? You never heard that expression before? Paula shook her head. Don't you remember Nina Simone saying it? I asked incredulously. Not really. Even though I got hot flashes, I was still cool. 